In this video, I'm going to compare four PLA filaments in the $20 price range. Those four filaments are Hatchbox PLA, Creality PLA, Esun PLA Plus, and Overture PLA. I'll be comparing three main aspects of these filaments, those being the actual prices per one kilogram, the dimensional accuracy of both the diameter of the filament and the measurements of a 20mm calibration cube, and the print quality of none other than a Benchy. Before going any further, I did want to say that the Ender Store on Amazon did send me the Creality PLA to make a video review on, and this is indirectly that review video. I figured the best way to review a filament is to compare it to the other brands that I use often. All comments stated are in fact my own. All of the results will be listed in a table at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around until the end to see the full comparison. Looking at the prices, like I said, all of these are basically $20 and available with 2-day shipping on Amazon Prime. The next comparison that will be made is dimensional accuracy. First I'll measure the diameter of the filament for each brand. I'll take a couple of measurements at different locations on the spool to get a few readings and list the one furthest away from 1.75mm for each spool at the end of the video. You may notice some fluctuations on the caliper as I adjust to get the accurate reading. The final measurements listed at the end only account for the readings after I adjust my grip and get the best one. To confirm dimensional accuracy on prints, I printed out four calibration cubes. I'll measure the X, Y, and Z dimensions of each one and compare them to what they should be, which is 20 millimeters per side. You can also tell some differences in the surface quality when looking at these cubes. My printer isn't perfect, the belts need to be tightened a little bit, I have some stringing issues. Any differences in those prints show differences impacted by the filament, since the only thing changes is the filament itself. Every print was printed with the hot end at 205 degrees Celsius, the bed at 50 degrees Celsius, and the print speed at 60 millimeters per second.
To compare print quality, I printed out four benchies to look at side by side. Like I said before, my printer causes imperfections in the print that you can see in each benchie. Plus, the stringing in the top left will be present due to my time lapse process and my retraction settings not being perfect. However, the differences between the four prints are what will be compared. No matter what imperfections my printer causes, you can still notice quality differences impacted only by the filament. And like I said before, a temperature of 205 degrees Celsius was used for all four benches. Starting first with Overture, there's nothing really to compare it to, but you can see the lines on the side of the print. This is known as ringing and is because of my printer not being on a very stable surface and my accelerations and print speeds not being low enough to account for this. In all of the prints you will see this, however it is actually a good thing that my printer causes this since you can see how visible the lines on the side of the print actually are for each filament. Anyways, Overture is a pretty good filament for the price and I don't see any errors or issues with the print quality not caused by my printer. Moving over to the Creality filament, it looks a bit neater and the lines due to ringing are actually less noticeable. This could be because of the color and texture of the filament, but honestly all the small details look a little bit better as well. Next is Isun's PLA Plus, which looks much different than the first two due to the color and texture of the filament. The layer lines are much more visible than the Creality and even the Overture, but this filament is supposed to be stronger and calls for a bit higher of a temperature range. This still was printed within that range by the way, so maybe at a bit higher of a temperature the details would come out as nice as the Creality filament. And last but not least, since this was my go-to, is Hatchbox PLA. It looks a bit worse than Creality, but a little bit better than Overture, except for the small air pockets in the front of the print. I'm not sure if this was due to some moisture in the filament, although this was a brand new roll, but because of that I'm going to say the Overture came out a little bit better on this batch of prints. Here are the overall results and my personal ranking based on all of the information. Although Hatchbox had some air bubbles or voids in the print, I didn't have that issue previously with this filament, so I could have just gotten a bad roll. But overall, Creality had the best print quality and the most accurate XY measurements, so I ranked that first. Overture came out second in quality to me, and with a cheaper price, I put that in at second. Esun PLA Plus I didn't think was fair to put at second since it isn't just PLA, it's PLA Plus, which is supposed to be a stronger filament with different materials in there. And I had a couple of filament spools in the past actually clog up my printer so bad that I thought I needed to replace my extruder and hot end, but in fact, it was just the poor quality of those two rolls. That didn't happen this time, but I do see a lot of reviews online of people who had similar issues, so for that I ranked it at third, tied with Hatchbox. And although these rankings are based on the comparison in this video, all of these PLA brands are pretty great for the price. If you're having any trouble with any of them, leave a comment below to explain your problem and help people decide on their next PLA purchase. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to see more 3D printing content, check out my other videos and subscribe so you don't miss more content like this. I have an Instagram that you can follow so you can stay ahead of my projects before I post my YouTube videos, which is linked in the description. And also, if you want to learn a little bit more about 3D design and 3D printing, I have a Discord server which is linked in the description as well. Thank you again for watching, and have a great rest of your day.